today is a seriously big day for me. Some might even call today historic. Good morning, so it is about 7.30 now, I'm just about to get cracking, I'm going to work hard, once I've planned my day um, up until lunchtime, I'm going to work hard for about 4 or 5 hours now until lunchtime. Should give you some context, um, I have my law exam starting in a week. So yeah, it's full on revision mode at the moment, so you're going to get an insight into basically what a day looks like, revising for exams for me. Let's do this! So... European Convention of Human Rights, Article uh, 235 and 6. Oh, and just to forewarn you, you'll probably see me walking around my room loads today. This is how I like to revise, basically talking to myself, quizzing myself on stuff that I'm covering. Articles 235 and 6 to protect the um, right to life, uh, right to liberty and security, and the right to fair trial. So it is now 9.18. Uh, I've just been working for about the last hour and a half. Um, been really productive actually, really happy with how it's gone. And I'm just about to go and have some brekkie. So I do feel like at the moment um, today, I'm a week to go until my exams. I'm sort of feeling semi-panicked, um, but we'll get there, we'll get there. I'm trying to stay positive because <laughs> there is no point in panicking. I'm not fannying. How am I fannying? So having just had breakfast, it's now 9.53 and I'm about to crack on again with the law. It's human rights again, but this time I'm going to be starting to cover a new material that I haven't covered before. This is pretty much the last new material for constitutional and administrative law I've got to cover. So I'm going to be getting through that as quickly as I can in the next hour and then just getting on with memorising it. Hopefully you should have this got through by about uh, half eleven um, by the time I've gone through it all. So <laughs> it's... It's 11 o'clock, exactly. Um, I'm having a really quick 10 minute break within the longer study session that I'm currently having for about an hour and a half. So, I'm having a break, I'm having a Twix. So it is now 12.08 and yeah, I ran over a little bit on that last session, but basically made the executive decision that because I was being really productive, I really wanted to get through all of uh, the European Convention of Human Rights stuff, mainly because that's my first exam, so I'm prioritizing that more this week. Happy that I've done that and I'm now gonna have a quick break, which basically means I'm going to quickly go on YouTube and sort out the info for a video I'm releasing later today and then probably watch TV for 10 minutes before coming back uh, for my next session. Admittedly, I lied about the TV part. Um, I didn't actually get to go and do that because I was too busy looking at YouTube analytics on videos and stuff. I feel like um, that's actually one of my biggest weaknesses and something I would really encourage you guys not to do. I relax during your breaks, have some time to watch TV, talk to other people, talk about stuff that isn't work, let your mind be completely like at ease and relaxed and have proper downtime. Yeah, I'm glad I've had this conversation. Nice. 
Um, <laughs> but because I feel like just being conscious of that is going to make me better at it and mean that for the rest of the day, hopefully now I'm a bit more conscious of making sure that in my breaks I actually have a break. But agreement now, contract. It's now 2.17 and I'm going to go and grab some lunch. That was a really productive session again, so I've been pretty productive today actually. Might do this more often. Uh, I think it makes me concentrate more. I had a lovely lunch uh, talking to my stepdad. As I said earlier, I made a conscious choice. I was like, no, I need to get away from my desk. I'm not even gonna watch TV. I'm gonna have something that just completely takes my mind off of work. Talked about travel and talked about plans for after I finish my exams and stuff like that. So now I'm just gonna crack on with a contractual agreement. Yet again, uh, another hour long session now. Hopefully you should get that done in the next hour and then we'll move on. Plus, you will soon find out why today is a historic day. When are you supposed to say A and when are you supposed to say an? Because on the news they quite often say an historic day. To me that sounds wrong. Comment below if you know the answer. So I just took a few pictures for Instagram to go alongside posting my video. Um, I will post the video in a couple of minutes, got everything ready for that. Now I'm going to try and get through this quick uh, application form I've got to do for my law training um, contract. Then going to try and go on a run and then go to my dad's. You should know this about me, I generally try and fit in way more than I can actually do in the time. Almost always running a little bit late on the fringes of late or late. Oh, I'm going to be late again here, which is probably bad but I realise I'm going to be late. and still going to try and do everything. Let's go exercise. So this is something I like to do when I have really limited time, like I do right now. Um, I'll literally do five minutes of exercise, literally a few press ups, a few sit ups, um, a few different exercises. Uh, feel free to kind of try this out if you'd like. And uh, yeah, it makes me feel like I've done something during the day, even though um, I've really not got much time to do an awful lot. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that was that. Today is a seriously big day for me. Some might even call today historic. Running very late and uh, time to get ready for going to dad's. That petrol gauge right there made for a fairly nervy journey, if I'm honest. So we're quite late, but we have made it. I'm a little nervous to go inside because I think I'm gonna get shouted at, but it's okay, nah, we're fine. Um, just always late. Oops. What was that? It's always late. Just make sure that you tell him half an hour later oh. then. So, <laughs> it is time for the Love Island final. It's a big moment. <laughs> There's the fam. No! And dad. I'd also like to clarify that my little brother does not usually watch Love Island. It's just because I'm here and he's being allowed to stay up with me. It's quarter to 11, it's bedtime. I'm going to head up to bed and get a good night's sleep before cracking on again tomorrow. It's going to be a really productive day again tomorrow. Heading home early in the morning and then, yeah, basically cracking on all day tomorrow. I'm gonna have a full day. Night.